We don't need no rules. <laughs> You said, you ask Elvis, Elvis said, Trouble Tracy, that's my girlfriend, let her out. But there was a lot of fun things that happened early on in Graceland, and he was so proud of that house. He just all of the drive was a small house, even though it was a nice house. Uh, he swapped almost straight to people out of Argo. He paid $40,000 for the Argo house, an uh, the drive house, and then, remember the night I spent there, we were getting ready to go to Hollywood. He said, GK, we've only got a room for my mom and dad, my grandmother, so you have to sleep with me in my bed. I said, okay, I said, that's good. So about three or four in the army, three or four in the morning, over here, I hear knocking on the wall. I said, no, what's that? He said, oh, it's the teenagers out there, they know where my room is, and they're saying, I was like, oh, we love you, you know, the whole shit. And he said, so I remember too, that his mother, before I went to bed that night, he said, now, she said, now George, I want to remind you a few things. I said, yeah, Miss Preston. She said, Elvis walks in his sleep, and sometimes he talks in his sleep. I said, what do I do if he walks? And she told me, she was serious, for some. She said, you get up, and you talk to him real softly, real nice like, come on, Elvis, let's go back to bed. We're going to Hollywood tomorrow, make a great movie. And, 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 and I, I did that real softly, like she told me, for some. I said, come on, you get back to bed. He came back and laid back down. And uh, there's a lot of memories for me in that blue house. I want to, uh, Priscilla, ask you about when you first came to Graceland. I, I'm sure that you, I'm sure that you uh, uh, heard about Graceland. I'm sure they told you about it before, you know. And then talk about when you first came here, when you went through the gates the first time. Well, I was, I was when I met him in Germany, um, and when he, he would talk a lot to me. I mean, he really, when I look back now, I think, my God, he just, really, it's not like he just really needed someone to listen to him, which I did, because I did not know how to respond to him a lot. I was only 14 years old, and I was just scared of listening to him and trying to understand what he was saying, and just actually being there for him. But he would tell me about Graceland, he couldn't wait to get home, um, that, you know, things would probably change a lot because his mother passed away, and, you know, they were really close to her, and, and um, he still was grieving somewhat. And um, so he had a little fear about going, but he said, you know, it's going to take me a while to get adjusted again, but I want you to come to Graceland, I want you to see my beautiful home, and, and um, it's, 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 you know, more than he, actually was, you know, this was his dream house, and he never, he, he said he would never give it up, because that's the home that he wanted to have his family in. And, um, and he was so proud of it, and he did brag about the, the colors that were there, the white carpeting, and the modern furniture, and that um, that he that's what he always wanted to be to get away from everybody, as you know. And he was so proud of that house, Jerry, that when executives or whatever, remember, a big time Hollywood producer was in town. He came to see Elvis, and Elvis hit the tour for Graceland. And then uh, there were other people like that. Jim Brown, the football star, uh, he came to visit Elvis, and Elvis showed him the whole house. He was so proud of that. Huh? Natalie Wood. Natalie Wood. I wasn't around when Natalie was there. How can I say this in a nice way? <laughs> Nat, Nat, don't say it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm always saying, if you can't say something nice, oh, don't, don't say it. That was his mother. Gladys had the last thing on everything. And she said, Elvis, I don't like that girl from Hollywood. <laughs> and she said, he's, he, she, he's got to go. She said, okay, mama. And he shipped her back to Hollywood. You know? <laughs> He had the last word. Yeah, she did. And he, he did not, be, even with the, I think Yvonne Lyme, I think she came out for publicity, right? Publicity yeah. photos with him. Yeah. But I know that his mother, Wesley, she didn't like any girls from Hollywood getting a hold of her son. Yeah. <laughs> Do you attribute one of the reasons that he loved Graceland so much, though, is because his mother loved it so much here? I just thought, I think that, you know, he was so proud to be able to afford it. Never in his life did he think he would be able to afford such a beautiful home. And he, he really looked at it as having his mom and his dad there. I mean, they struggled all through, you know, he, he had such humble beginnings. Anyone from Tupelo that or has been to Tupelo has seen the, the little house there? Yes. So you know what I'm talking about. When they say little, it's two rooms. And it was the bedroom, which was also sort of like a living room, and the kitchen. No water, no plumbing. So this was, this was a, a mansion beyond his dreams, and this is where he wanted to stay. And, and he wanted his, his family and his, his, his parents with him, and that's how he, he just loved it. But Jerry, what about you, the first time at Graceland? 
Well, you know, I was just glad to get in. And, <laughs> uh, but I, 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 the thing I really remember about coming to Graceland after a long period of time, this is after Elvis was in Germany, and he came back to Graceland, and, you know, I'm in high school, and I hadn't seen him in a couple of years, and I don't know if I'm any, I, you know, I go down to the gate, I don't know if I'm going to call up, if Elvis is even going to remember me. And so anyway, they say, come on up. And I go up, and Elvis is in the foyer, you know, with uh, uh, doing karate. And uh, Lamar Fike is holding up these pillows, and he's jumping. And I stand there, and I'm looking. I, never, I didn't know what karate was. Most Americans didn't at that point. And Elvis said, stand there, Jerry. And he did a karate kick. And I'm telling you, it almost ruined my love life. <laughs> and that was the, that, that's my big memory of it. <laughs> I didn't say hello or anything, was it? Before we go any further, I want you to put it